Hey booktube, Thea here, and today I've got a vlog style video for you. I'm over here at the Tucson Book Festival and I figured I'd take you guys with me and show you guys around. I'm super excited and can't wait to uh, meet some fantastic art authors. I'm gonna meet Diana Gabaldon later and I'm gonna meet Ray Carson in about half an hour. I'm super excited. I've already bought a Pride and Prejudice bookmark because I couldn't help myself um, and I can't wait to uh, enjoy the day. I'll see you guys later. Bye! So I'm here at Pennyworth Books and all paperbacks are $5 and all hardcovers are $7. It's an amazing deal and all of the books are bestsellers. Age. I was always making up stories when I was a little girl and they were always stories about like running away from home and parents who were really mean because they made her do chores and and then she would find out that she was really adopted and she was really a princess like it was all this wish fulfillment kind of silly stuff um, but it really prepared me for writing all this imagining um, but I also grew up in a family that wasn't super excited about non-standard careers so like I tell my mom, I want to be a writer. She'd be like, oh, pat, 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 that's really sweet, honey. But you know, you have to have a day job, you know? And she was, she was being realistic. She thought she was being encouraging. And in her mind, that was the loving thing to do. So it was a long time before I actually felt like I maybe could, like before the possibility actually bloomed in my mind as something that was viable for me. So I was probably, in my 30s, early 30s, before I sat down and I was like, this is what I wanted to do my whole life. I'm, I'm approaching middle age, like I have to do this. I have to try, I have to give it my all, even though it's the scariest thing I've ever so, done. So BookTube is becoming huge right now. Uh, do you ever watch reviews of your books on BookTube? Um, I think if someone tags me, then I do. And sometimes people tag you and they don't like your book. And that's not as much fun. But um, so you guys, can you just like maybe just hashtag it as opposed to tag it? But sometimes it's painful. But it's, I think it's fun. I love that there's this culture of, of kids that are reading and, and talking about it. If I were, if I were a kid or a 20 something, I would be doing it too. And I love it. I do. Thank you. Yeah, it is. It's 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 great that they're having that people are having these conversations about books on social media and using YouTube to do it, and it's it's a way of getting the word about books out all over the place, and it's been amazing. In fact, my first series, um, it came out and it was well received, but it didn't sell a lot of copies. But because of word of mouth, it ended up doing okay over time. And when that happens, you have no one to thank but like readers and reviewers and stuff. Um, and, and that's amazing. So I have a lot of gratitude. I feel like I feel like 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 you guys saved my career, which is amazing. Um, but having said that, I don't read reviews of my books. Oh, I don't read them. or don't watch read them. them on YouTube. But I don't. But like I, tag, I do. I do. Yeah, yeah. Usually, it's like some adorable kid that. Like, they and it is and it is and I was really torn. I did at first, but um, I just learned that that's a conversation that's going on, but it's not my conversation. Once I put a book out into the world, I feel like it's your book now, um, and I shouldn't be weighing in on it. And people need to be able to develop their opinions about my book, um, minus my influence, or yeah, author's I influence. I good reads, I, I stay yeah, away from Yeah, stay away from good reads as an author. But I, but I do, if someone tags me, then I assume that they want me to see it, and right, I'll look, right. but sometimes they don't really want me to see it. Uh, but it's or they do, and they're just being like, oh yeah, well, I didn't like your book, and I want you to know it. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> like, that happens. And then I put down, and I ran that risk. But I feel like yeah. everybody has the right to, like, say whatever they want, and it's a yeah. community, and I think, I just, I love that that exists. Yeah. Like, and I wish that that had existed at that level when I was a kid. Me too. I would have been all over that I situation. Just, I would not have left my house. I would just right. be like, I would be like, like me and books. Yeah. Here's my bookshelf. <laughs> Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. I wasn't able to film uh, during the Diana Gabaldon panel, but it was amazing. Um, she signed my copy of Outlander and my copy of Dragonfly and Amber. Afterwards, oh my gosh, I almost cried. She was so sweet. Um, on my way home now, crazy. Like, I bought way too many books. I'm definitely gonna do a 
a book haul of Jesse books that I bought. Um, and then tomorrow I am meeting uh, Ruta Sepeta and I'm gonna have her sign my copies of Salt of the Sea and Between Shades of Grey. And then uh, I'm gonna have uh, Sarah sign my copies of the first two uh, Ice Like Fire books. So super excited for tomorrow. Um, bought some really cool books. Um, got a hardcover of Harry Potter for like $5, crazy. Um, a couple other books. So definitely gonna do a little mini haul for you guys. Um, and then do an unhaul because I have a couple books that I'm unhauling in place of the new books that I got. So, um, wish I could have filmed a little bit more today, but it was super busy. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.